Okay, um, so I was going to do each one of these on their own, and look who arrived. This was all the rest that I was waiting for that I had ordered. Um, my number 23 arrived first, but then all the rest pretty much came together. And so I thought, why not just do a review with all of them? And hopefully it's not too long here. And I did want to show you. So here it is. I'm so excited to finally have one of each now. I love this line. The Barbie Looks line is like one of my most favorites. I am so happy they're on wave four at this point. I I hope it keeps going. Bill Greening and team, please keep it going. Like seriously, do a wave with a color and different fabrics for each or something. Like that would be super cool. And you could do like different ones, like, you know, just different ideas like that to keep it going. I'm enjoying all the different dolls we've been getting, even with the repeat faces. I'm loving them. I love that her hair turned out different in box than it is here on the picture because I don't like her hair here, but I do like it on her. We'll get into that though. And now for the Lena, I'm just waiting for a red-headed Lena or I'm going to reroute one myself, but if you guys can give us a red-headed Lena, that would be cool. And I think Audra with black hair would be really cool too. Audra with black hair. And I can't believe this is the Heidi sculpt. She looks so good. Um, the Simone, I'm really digging this face sculpt a lot more um, than I did the, the time before. Um, I don't know, she looks completely different with this sculpt and I had no idea. And... Um, I, I'm glad we could get another another Ken. That's great, you know. Uh, still looking for that that light tan skin tone. So we'll have to see if there's any in this grouping because I haven't gotten into them other than number 23, Lena. And she was... Did I compare her skin? I don't know. We will have to do that now, though. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for these. And I am just going to turn them all now and... You guys can see. So this is the red-headed Andra sculpt giving Daphne from Scooby-Doo vibes. Totally. Everybody sees it. <laughs> um, here we have the Heidi sculpt in this beautiful pink ensemble. Super cute. The... I always want to call her... What is it? And see, I can't even remember. Uh, Victoria, that's right, Victoria. And I always want to call her Angela or something because the first one, that's what I named her was was Angie because she looks like an angel with all her like paleness. Um, she looks super good with this hair styled this way instead of what it is on the box and all the pictures. I love it. Thank you for changing it. This is so much better. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So there's Victoria's sculpt in this pink outfit similar to the Barbie Extra Winters outfit. The, the top is, I think, a little different. And then we've got the Simone face sculpt. So beautiful. Again, in like a pink. Doesn't bother me. Um, this is just super pretty. And then we have the buff Ken and he has this fro type hair which I've seen lot I've seen a couple people uh, redo his hair and it's given me some inspiration I might just do a short trim we'll see um, people giving him flocking and stuff and beards and he looks really good um, but yeah um, he looks like he has a boot sculpt from what I can see so that'll be cool. Lime green shirt kind of stands out with this and uh, pastel. So he is going to be open last because he's number 25. And then we're just, just going to go in order. So I'm going to put everybody in the back here. And I am going to get Miss 20 out of 
Miss 20 out of the box. But first, here is her box. Simple white box, very nice. And just has like the purple coloring for the letters and stuff, accents. And now I am going to get her out of box. And I love that they included a multi-tonal redhead in this. And uh, like seriously, she's super cool. Um, actually considering like making either Lena or, um, oh my goodness, or this one, my mini, and if I do Lena, I have to reroute her into a red, um, but my hair color is kind of faded, like, naturally, because I haven't been in the sun for so long, that it, it's just kind of, like, hibernating, so I'm not really sure, but the face sculpts are looking more like my face, and so I kind of have to check to see, but I may be upgrading to more, to a newer face sculpt, just because I, I'm... I'm digging these face sculpts so much, and I have not found one. My current mini is actually, um, she is the City Shine redhead, um, because I have curly hair, but at the same time, I can, like, brush it pretty straight. It's, like, wavy, which is kind of like her hair. Um, it's multi-tonal, kind of like hers. Um, but I, I'm th kind of thinking I have maybe more of Lena's face, um, so I, I'm not quite sure, but her red-headed, um, maybe a slight bit paler, you know. <laughs> I'm a little paler than Lena. I'm more of her tone, but, uh, yeah, let me get her out of box. I'm going on a spiel. This is going to be a long video if I keep doing that, so sorry in advance. She is super pretty, and her hair is actually really interesting. So she has these really light pieces on the bottom, like at the front here, but then they're like on the top side here and along the front. So they're not, they're not on the top side here also. And they're only, they're only in the front, they're not on the back. I love this color right here on the back though. But, so 22 points of articulation, beautiful sculpt. I'm not seeing any pixelation. It's really nicely done. Um, she's making me think purple top in skin tone, so... She is going to join Lena, who's sitting over here on the side. And I love her boots. Everything's really great. You know, pleather skirt, hopefully it holds up. Love the top, great design. It's gonna be a piece that I use. So she's gonna be off to the side here. And they all come with a stand. I am not going to be using the stands currently. Um, I'm always breaking these waist clip parts. So I'm just going to set that aside. And show you model 21 with the Heidi face and her box. So here's the back. And again, if you want to see Lena's video, it's up here. Link to it anyway. Um, she just looks so gorgeous. I wonder if her skirt's a little metallic because they all have a metallic aspect except for these two. And I'm wondering if I'm just not seeing it because the others are all like, hey, I'm metallic. So I wonder if I'm not seeing it though. I'm gonna get her out of box and I'll be right back. All right, so here I have Number 21, 22 points of articulation, like all of them will be. Her boots are really cool. Um, they almost seem like they're one of those, like, um, like they're metallic-y, like a pearlescent, which I didn't notice in the packaging, but now that they're out, they look really cool. Um, so, she is one of the three that were my top favorites. So that would be the three that, if you've watched Lena's video, number 22's, uh, sorry, number 23's video, you'll, plus the beginning of these, you will have seen the three that were my favorites. And I just, I love them. They're gorgeous. They're some of my favorite face sculpts. And now that I've seen all of these ladies in person, I, I like more of them. And... Oh, she's really stiff. 
I will go over skin tones. I'm not a big fan that her knees are such a different color, like her elbows also, and her knees are like a different color than than her other parts. It's like something to do with the process, but it is kind of annoying, you know. It's not as noticeable when when um, not in like all the the light, but it is still like noticeable. So it is noticeable, but just not as noticeable. And um, again, stand, just not you know using them. And if you want to see the video for the chairs, check it out. And now I'll be opening number 22, and she has the Victoria Sculpt, which I think they also did, yes, they also did her in a red head, and I love her. She is one of my favorites as well, and I believe I call her Vicky. I actually have a cousin who is a redhead who ends up being Vicky for Victoria, um, so... I'll have to figure out what I'm going to name her because I've been kind of going with what they inspire me to be and she's totally giving me like similar vibes so I'm going to have trouble trying to name her. I haven't named all of them. Um, my Heidi sculpt with the red hair is actually named Heidi and my previous blonde was named with the short hair. I'm, I think I called her Andy or Andra. So I didn't really get too much into naming. And then my first one, she, first Lena was Lena. So, you know, um, been trying to name them based on sculpts and like how they seem, but her box is, uh, just like the rest. She has like this peach pink almost, um, as her color for the outside. Pretty straightforward, all the boxes and, uh, so I'll get her out of box and be right back. Okay, so I have her out of box and I actually somehow managed to get her to stand. Um, she comes with a stand and certificate, you know, they all are going to. And I'm thinking I'm gonna name her like Angelica, like big long name or something. Um, I do love that they did this hair on her and it is hard all the way around. Um, I'm really liking this this hairstyle on her much better than what they were showing on the box. Um, I, definitely much better um, for me. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep her on the petite body. I've seen some people put her on um, a taller body and I don't know, something about the proportions maybe is a little bit better, but I don't know. I'll have to see see what skin tone she matches and everything. 22, to, 22 points of articulation, just like them all. And <laughs> so the next one we're going to look at is model 24 because 23 was already done. And this is the Simone face sculpt and her box is just the same with purple writing, purple details. Now she is a Kirby. Number 22 was petite. The rest have all been standard height. Would have been cool if we had a tall. Especially in a skin tone we don't have. I think I think one of these three girls is going to be a different skin. I'm thinking she's a skin tone we have, but I'm not sure. She's reminding me of a couple of skin tones, so I'm not sure. But um, So she's a Kirby, and she's in this cute little dress, and she has some, some little booties for shoes. And, um, I know I haven't really been talking too much about the fashions, but, I mean, they're seen. I'm more here for the doll. They probably won't live in their dresses or skirts or outfits, um, for too long, since I do like most all of them and don't plan on doing a whole lot with any of them. And, uh, so let me get her out and I, I will probably be doing restyles at some point because they're just, they're inspirational and I'm digging them. So let me get her out. Okay, so she has super soft hair and it's really nice. Like they all have like boxed hair or box hair so like a little bit of like of a boil wash or something might help. 
Um, her bangs are pretty good. There is some product in her bangs. I'd love to know what it is because I have had the worst luck with trying to find a gel that works um, for when I do dull hair and redo bangs and stuff. Now there are some threads coming up from the top of her dress here and she does have the tiniest little flaw dark mark on her hand here. Um, and I am having some shedding which you know that does happen with with dolls um, when they're new out of the box. It can happen and this is nothing compared to a, another doll brand um, where I had like a handful Oh, sorry, it's windy outside, and it's decided to get windier, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it just, just gorgeous face, and um, yeah, I'm actually wondering, are these two similar? They look pretty close, but they are different. So she is slightly darker, it looks like. Um, this would be where I would need where I would need different lighting. Sorry, it must be it, it must be picking up in wind. Um, so I'm gonna have to hurry up <laughs> here. Alright, so I did save this chair for her. There we go. Stand. Kirby size. And then he is the last one. He has the green accents. So let me get him out and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got him out of box. As you can see, I managed to get him to balance. Um, his hair just needs like a tiny bit of a trim. Um, he is wearing two separate pieces. His shirt's okay. It um, feels kind of like a, a poly material or something. He does have knee braces in here, so there's like cardboard on those. Um, his boots are a silver metallic type that go to about here and um, he has 22 points of articulation and I'm just I'm happy with him he's he's um, he's got these these hands that are grippy um, like the merman Ken which is I think where they originally come from um, and maybe also crystal cave Ken or something like that but I uh, kind of wish Maybe one of them was not gripping, but then again, you know, that's one of those things that if you have one of the other ones, I think, um, from the first wave, I think his face sculpt was John, maybe, um, where he had, like, the, the braids and the bun. I think he might be the same sculpt, uh, not the same sculpt, but the, the same skin tone. I think you might be able to, like, change your hands on him. If you don't have him he's super hard to get now. Um, I did have like an extra and I sold the extra for like 30 bucks like and that was out of box. He's super hard to get now. He's like 80 bucks or something I think the last I saw. Um, but yeah so um, I'll probably just leave him as is you know with one grip with both gripping hands. So um, this is the looks collection and I think I've got them all in there now. So this is the, the whole looks collection and I love them all and I will probably do very little with their hair. I will restyle them if at the, you know, that's definitely what's going to happen with them. Um, I love their pieces. Their clothes are really cool but at the same point like they won't probably stay in those pieces just because I will personalize them and I just, I love this collection. Um, so far, up until this wave, like before all that, I have one of every single one in box and I will be getting one of each to keep in box because I like to, I, I love this collection and I want to have one of each in box and they have a huge spot in my doll room at this my doll slash art room at this point where they take up a lot of real estate in box and I like have to move them around and and uh, change shoes out front because they just there's so many of them at this point that they they're like just they're going to be having to rotate and I love it because I feel inspiration when I look at them 
there are ones from the first set, first series that came out. The Elle in the black jumpsuit, she is gorgeous and I love her face. It's so beautiful and she's one of the ones that I have fronted still like all the time. Her and Lena and Ken number no. 5, like those ones are the ones that are always front because like they're some of my favorites that are still like like still strike inspiration and I love it. And so I will be so happy to add these six eventually to my collection inbox as well. I love them. All their joints seem to work pretty good. There's been like very minor things, um, like the flaw in her hand and like some of the threads, which you get that kind of thing happening, the threads with this kind of material. Just one of those things, like it's on hers as well. Um, it's those types of materials. But I enjoy having these materials in doll form and that they gave us those materials. They have a different texture, a different look to them. And I absolutely love those fabrics. Um, I'm not crazy about the texture of his shirt. It's like one of those types of fabrics that I'm not the most fond of. Um, but I'm glad that they still gave that to us. And in a color, that is quite out there. Um, considering a lot of the Kens in this line have had more muted colors. I think this will be a great addition for the Ken wardrobe. Everything Velcros in the back, all of it, uh, whether it's two pieces or one piece, it all Velcros in the back. And everybody has very nice hair, soft hair. There's only like, he's going to get a slight trim. Um, she did have a couple of like pulled braids where she, in like in the back where she had um, been attached to the box. And her hair is hard and I'm not touching her hair. Like, um, but the hair is all great and very minimal issues and I'm really happy about that. I mean, I've heard that her arms are different colored and maybe like mine are and I just don't see it as easily. Um, but like I see her, her knees and elbows are a little darker and we didn't, we didn't get to see her knees but judging by her elbows she'll probably be fine. Um, I, I know like certain things are the way that they are because of costs and just different methods for things. So he did come with a Ken stand. It's a little larger, but, um, I'm happy with these. I recommend these. If you can find them for retail, get them. Uh, if you can find them for below, like on sale, cause I'm sure at some point they will, cause I'm going to be watching for those sales to get some. Um, definitely go ahead and get them. I would just be careful not to do like right now when they're just released to not be buying above the retail, buy from sites like, um, Mattel Creations. Cause if you do have flaws or something that, you know, there's something wrong, you can call Mattel and you can be like, Hey, look, my doll had a, a stain on her hand and they can maybe help you out. Maybe you can do a return and they can send you a new one. No stuff like that. Um, I would not be buying them from eBay at this point just because they are new releases and um, I wouldn't be buying from like whatnot. So I won't be selling any. <laughs> They're new releases. I, I expect everybody to be getting them from places like Amazon and Entertainment Earth and Mattel Creations or Walmart, you know, for retail of $25. Yes, it's $25 now. Can we say, ugh? But you know what? I'm okay. I've got a 22 point of articulation Barbie doll with a face I love. In clothing pieces, I will at some point reuse, I'm sure. I'm good. And shoes that I, I'm absolutely loving. So I'm okay with that. Um, getting a little high there, yes. But as long as quality stays good, I think I'll be okay. And like I said, we got some fancy fabrics. I like brocades and these types of materials are definitely, I think, worth that extra. And you know, maybe we just need to hey, say, hey, can you guys explain the price increase? You know, costs went up for you. Okay, I get it. You know, materials we haven't seen. Awesome. Keep it up. I'm willing to pay for that extra material cost that is expensive because I know I've bought some stuff and it is not cheap. So, you know, if we're understanding customers, 
they'll be willing to keep a line probably going for us for a while. And I hope so because I love this line. I love this line. <laughs> okay, so I know this is a long video. Thank you for your time and like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.